today we will be discussing about the post fertilization changes or the modifications which occur in the angiospermic plant and it is very important many times question is asked okay so very first is that what happens to ovary as we know very well that this is the structure of the carpal and we know that carpal consists of a stigma sterile ovary so this part is the ovary so after fertilization the ovary is converted into the fruit okay so this is a post fertilization change means after fertilization the ovary is converted into the fruit next is the ovule we know very well that inside the ovary what is found ovule is found but after fertilization ovule is converted into the seed now the ovary wall is converted into the fruit wall ovary wall is converted into the fruit wall and fruit wall is also called as pericarp and pericarp may be differentiated into three parts outer middle and inner that is called as epicarp mesocarp and endocarp integuments now integument is a part of so this is the diagram of an ovule which is found inside the ovary so when the fertilization occur this ovule is converted into what the seed after fertilization and when the ovule is converted into seed then what happens to the integuments of the ovule now we know very well that integuments are the protective coverings and generally the ovules are surrounded by two integuments one is known as the outer integument and another is known as the inner integument because generally the ovules are bitegmic a bitegmic ovule consists of two integuments outer and inner so now when the ovule when the ovule after fertilization is converted into seed then this outer integument outer integument forms the testa outer integument forms the testa and testa is called as the outer seed coat and the inner integument inner integument forms the tegmen and tegmen is the inner seed coat all together we can say that integuments after fertilization the integuments of the ovule forms the seed coat and we know that seeds are covered by two types of the seed coats outer one is called as testa and inner one is called as tegmen and this testa which is the outer seed coat is formed by the outer integument and the tegmen which is the inner seed coat is formed by the inner integument okay so ultimately integument forms seed coat now new cells this is the new cells tissue now we know very well that the very important tissue a nutritive tissue a parenchymatous tissue which is found inside the ovule is called as the new cells now what happens after fertilization so in the post fertilization changes what happens that this new cells degenerates this new cells is completely degenerated but in some cases but in some cases say for the beetroot okay say for the black pepper in them the new cells remnant is there means a small portion of the new cells remains even after the even after the ovule is converted into the seed so what happens that the remnant of the new cells is there and which is called as what the perisperm so what i want to say that the new cells of the ovule degenerates after fertilization but sometime a thin layer of the new cells is present in the seed and which is called as a perisperm the best examples are black pepper okay now excel as we know very well that inside the ovule embryo sac is present and in embryo sac egg cell is there this is the egg cell and egg cell is n now what happens after the fertilization so egg cell which is acting as a female gamete fuses with the male gamete to form the zygote and zygote soon converts into embryo so what egg cell this egg cell ultimately after fertilization forms the zygote and zygote forms the embryo so we can say that egg cell forms the embryo okay now we also know that inside the embryo sac there are two synergids these are the two synergids these are the two synergids and here there are three antipodal cells 
here there are three antipodal cells so antipodal cells are three in number and synergids are two in number so both the synergids and the antipodals as soon as the ovule is converted into seed and fertilization is over then the synergids as well as the antipodals these two synergids as well as the antipodals degenerate totally okay now hilum what is hilum you can see in the ovule that hilum is the point where the main body of the ovule is attached to the funiculus funiculus is the stalk of the ovule is called as a hilum now the question arises that when ovule is converted into seed then what happens to the hilum so hilum is definitely present in the seed but it is present in the seed in the form of a scar okay through which the seeds were attached to the fruits okay and what happens to the micropyle this is the micropyle what happens to this micropyle so the micropyle of the ovule is still persists in the seed and now it is called as the micropyle of the seed through which the seed absorbs the substances from the soil now the second nucleus we know very well that at the center of the embryo sac at the center of the embryo sac polar nuclei are found what are these these are polar nuclei but in the case of the angiosperm we know very well that just before the fertilization these polar nuclei fuse together now there are two polar nuclei each nuclei is n so n plus n 2n so the second nucleus is formed so fusion of polar nuclei forms a second nucleus and second nucleus when fuses with one male gamete a 3n structure is formed and that 3n structure in angiosperm or the diploid structure in angiosperm is called as the endosperm and at last the funicle of the ovule this is the funicle of the ovule stalk of the ovule is called as a funicle now what happens to this so the funicle of the ovule forms the stalk of the seed but it's not necessary that always the funicle will be present in the seed it may be left in the seed or sometime it is not present because it is broken down okay so these were the post fertilization or changes or the modifications which occur in the case of the angiospermic plants thanks a lot for watching me hope so you have liked this video if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take